Hello, and welcome to the Strategic Portfolio Management Demo, Align All Work to Strategy and Deliver Value. We look forward to showing you in today's demo how our Strategic Portfolio Management solution can drive successful digital transformation initiatives through alignment of work to strategies and goals, continuous planning, and flexible delivery. Strategic Portfolio Management enables both planners and delivery teams to work within one solution built on a single data model to deliver work using any methodology such as Agile, Scaled Agile, Traditional Waterfall, or Hybrid Mix. This allows for a complete view of all work, enabling accurate insights, better collaboration, and confident decisions that lead to achieving the desired outcomes that matter most. During this demo, I'll be playing the role of Eileen Modern, who's a product manager with Globex, in charge of managing their portfolio of customer products. She's responsible for ensuring that the strategies and goals of the portfolio align with those of the overall organization, and that they're ultimately delivered. Eileen's responsibilities require her to take on various roles within the organization, and throughout this demo, we'll see how ServiceNow's strategic portfolio management can help turn the strategies and goals of the organization into realized values all from a single solution. We'll see how Eileen can first strategize to identify key goals and targets that will support the organization's strategies, then manage intake, having a single point of intake for all of the work that will deliver on these goals. Next, align by continuous planning, selecting work to be delivered based on the most recent priorities of the organization, then deliver using multiple work methodologies, and finally, track to ensure that the value of this work is being realized and is supporting the strategies and goals of the organization. So let's begin with strategy, where leaders lay out the goals of the organization and set specific targets that will help measure the path to their desired outcomes. Enough preamble, let's get into the product and show you what SPM can do. So as the product manager, Eileen Modern, I'm gonna to go to the strategic planning workspace where I can see all of my portfolio plans the ones I created and the ones that were shared with me. First, we'll open up the customer product portfolio, which is top of mind. I see the informational widgets about the health of the goals and observe that the status widget has a goal that is in red status. This alerts me to see that I need to further investigate the goals and targets within the portfolio. Now I'm gonna to switch to the hierarchy view and I'm gonna turn a toggle on that will allow me to see how these high level goals align to the products. I see a goal for increased revenue. Under that goal, I see that there are a couple sub goals created for these products. I see that the increased CSAT score for customer portal goal is assigned to me and that the customer portal product is in red status. The associated target improved CSAT score to 70 is also in red status. I can see that the actual value is at 55, which is at the low end of the base target value, putting customer satisfaction at risk. I can easily see who owns that goal and collaborate to ensure that the teams are progressing in the right direction to correct the off-track goal. And uh, looks like in this case, it's me. So now I wanna identify the potential work in the pipeline that could help the organization meet this goal and then add that work to our team's backlog. ServiceNow provides multiple avenues to collect this work, such as ideas from customers or employees, demands that allow the collection of business cases and cost estimates, customer requests from ITSM or other areas of the NOW platform, or projects created by enterprise architects and app or service owners, application portfolio management, and digital portfolio management. All right, so I want to bring in product feedback from multiple sources and consolidate it in one area for analysis and decision making. And I can do that in the product feedback application. Globex uses the product feedback application as their single point of intake for all product feedback. So I can go into this application and see that it's already filtered on the customer portal product. From the dashboard view, I can see the summary of the feedback that we've been getting about the product, as well as where that feedback is originating from. If I switch over to the list view, I see that the items are again already filtered by the customer portal product. I notice that there are several pieces of feedback around adding AI functionality for chat and search. And I think that adding that functionality could really improve our product CSAT score which as you remember is the goal that we're trying to improve. So I select all this feedback and then I go to link it to a new product idea. I was gonna create a new idea for AI chatbot, but I actually noticed there's already one existing. So I'll select that one and I'll hit confirm. So that was successfully linked. Now the next step is to convert the product idea into a product so that it could be added to the backlog of work for the customer portal. This has already been done, so we'll skip forward to the prioritization of the product. 
Next, we'll move on to the Align activity. The strategic priorities provided by Globex leaders are blended with the most critical intake and balanced with in-flight work to ensure that the right work gets the people, money, and time it needs to be delivered. However, people are planning from a variety of different perspectives, some from a product perspective, some from a departmental perspective, and others from a strategic initiative perspective. Previously at Globex, these planners have been forced to plan in isolation, causing conflicts around resources, funding, and delivery timelines. And often, they did not discover those conflicts until it was too late, resulting in costly rework and delays. But ServiceNow's SPM has allowed Eileen and other planners to maintain a single book of work, where each planning persona can plan in the context of their roles and needs. Planners are able to leverage a single workspace to visualize and plan work being delivered in any methodology, waterfall, agile, safe, or a hybrid mix. All right, back in the demo as Eileen. I'll go to the planning tab where I can see a prioritized list of all planning work. Here I can view and edit the details of planning items to facilitate smoother real-time backlog grooming, ranking, and prioritization of planning items on the roadmap. I can see things like planned cost and benefits of each work item, as well as the goals that they're aligned to. This is going to help me determine what should be worked on versus what will remain in the backlog. I'm going to prioritize the project for the new AI chatbot by dragging it to the top of the list. Now that I prioritize the work in favor of the customer portal product, I want to visualize that work on the roadmap. I select the roadmap tab, and then I can see all of the work within the portfolio plan that has been prioritized. Here I have the work grouped by primary goal, and the colors represent planning item type, project demand, or epic. The metrics in each item display the owner, planned cost, and planned benefit. I can personalize my view at any time by using the personalized settings feature on the right and additional metrics can easily be configured to display based on your business needs. In this case, I want to add a metric for ROI. The work items that appear in the portfolio are agnostic to work methodology and can include demands, epics, and projects. Milestones can also be created to show on the roadmap, as well as dependencies between work. I notice that the Create AI Chatbot for Customer Portal project is dependent on the completion of the multi-language support project. So I'm going to drag the roadmap item for Create AI Chatbot to the right so that it starts in January after the multi-language support project. Having this information available helps influence the strategy and provides me with the business context for decision making. Now that I've got my work happening all at the right time, I want to make sure that I actually have resources available to do that work. So I'm going to move over to the Capacity Planning tab. So it was great that I was able to resolve that dependency issue, but right away I see one problem. That red square in January lets me know that the customer portal dev team is over allocated in January. So I'm going to push the Create AI Chatbot project out just one month later, and that'll resolve that issue. Now that the work has been prioritized and scheduled to account for both dependency and resource issues, I'll work with the project manager to make sure that it gets done. That brings us to stage four, delivery. Using ServiceNow, teams at Globex get the flexibility to work in a manner most appropriate for them while remaining aligned to business objectives and engage with broader strategy beneath them, even as targets may shift. ServiceNow provides multiple methods of work, again, waterfall, scrum agile, scaled agile, or any combination of these. In our case, adding the AI chatbot will require a mixture of some waterfall tasks along with some development work being done with an agile methodology. So this project has been created as a hybrid project. Eileen will work with the project manager or scrum master to complete the work. All right, so back to being Eileen. I'm going to open up the project for the project workspace, where I'll see the work breakdown structure. I can now see that many of the tasks are dependent on each other and they're in a specific timeline, which is why they're identified as waterfall tasks. I can also see a phase called development, which is listed as an agile phase. The epics and stories that will be worked on in that phase will be done using an agile methodology. Many of the Globex projects have repeatable tasks, and in the past, I used to have to build out assignments manually. But using the ServiceNow platform automation engine, a workflow was run when the project was first created to auto-assign tasks, including several to the project manager, Paul Martin. I want to make sure that the resources that I identified on this project are not over-allocated. Because I moved the project start date in capacity planning, I'm going to click on the Sync Resources button. That will realign the resource assignment dates to the task start dates. I'll click on a couple of tasks to see the resource assignments. 
If any of these resource assignments were over allocated and showed up as red, I could reassign the task to resolve that over allocation. Next, I want to look at the financials involved in this project. So I'll click on the financials tab. From here, I can see all of the costs associated with this project, including what has already been spent. Notice how the cost plans are separated by cost type, and there's also a button to generate labor costs automatically from the resource assignments. After that, I'll review any risks or issues with this project. So I'm going to go to the REDAC tab. Here I can see that there are a few risks and two issues associated with this project. I can also see that one of the issues was created from a realized risk. The leadership team at Globex expects weekly status updates about their projects to make sure that things are progressing as expected. And they prefer to get those updates in PowerPoint format. Fortunately for me, there's an easy way to export the status of a project into PowerPoint to be delivered to the management team. Watch how quickly I can do this. I can export the status report, and I'll even select a customizable branded template so that everything comes out exactly the way that I want it and that my leadership team needs it. It was easy to customize this using the ServiceNow for PowerPoint plugin. All right, so our final element is now how we track that work. We do this both to ensure that the work is being delivered, but also to make sure that our targets are being reached and our goals are being achieved. Now that all that work has been completed, I'll go back into the strategic planning workspace. I'll go into tracking mode and I'll set the color by field to status. That way I can get a view into how the work is progressing and what has been finished. Let's fast forward in time to when the project has been completed. Yay! I'm going to move back to that goals hierarchy tab. Because even more important than making sure that the work is being done is making sure that the leadership knows whether the targets are being reached and goals are being achieved. I can see that I no longer have any goals in red and that the target has been reached for the increased CSAT score for the customer portal project. However, I do see that increased revenue is still in yellow due to an unachieved goal for the mobile app. So as part of continuous planning, that may be what I want to tackle next. In summary, we've seen how ServiceNow Strategic Portfolio Management has allowed Globex to strategize by identifying the key goals and targets that will support the organization's strategies, manage intake by having a single point of intake for all work that will deliver on these goals, align by continuous planning, selecting the work to be delivered based on the most recent priorities of the organization, deliver using multiple work methodologies, and finally track to ensure that the value of this work is being realized and that it's supporting the strategies and goals of the organizations. So that concludes our demo. Thank you so much for your time.